All right, so for today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the Multiverse of Madness anniversary update in Marvel Future Fight, because unless you've been missing the streams, you will know that for the past two or three weeks, I've been talking about the fact that for the anniversary, the update we're going to be receiving is going to revolve around Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So in this video, I wanted to go over some of the new possibilities for tier threes, transcended characters, game mode improvements, new characters, uniforms, etc. Because today at Reset, they actually dropped the pre-update event, which allows us to collect tokens to use when the update goes live. And generally, as soon as this event ends, we go into maintenance and then following the maintenance, we have the update live available to us, which means that the update should be dropping next Wednesday on the 27th of April, which is only two or three days away from the anniversary of Marvel Future Fight. So with that being said, we have to discuss some of the characters that will be getting new uniforms, that could be getting tier threes and all that good stuff. Now, obviously, since this is Doctor Strange's movie, he is going to be getting at least one new uniform. I wouldn't put it past Netmarble and the Marvel Future Fight team to give Doctor Strange two uniforms. And frankly, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping to get another version of Doctor Strange that is a hero, but then for the first time ever, I would actually like to see Doctor Strange as a villain. I would love to see Doctor Strange with the third eye, straight out of the comics because it is actually a version of Doctor Strange that is going to be in Multiverse of Madness. It would be amazing to see Doctor Strange finally become a villain Obviously, I know not everyone is going to be a fan of this because Doctor Strange is generally a good guy and all that stuff, but it would be really, really cool to see Doctor Strange as a villain in Marvel Future Fight. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about that. I think it would be dope to see him as a villain and see him back in PvP as a villain and then have a, you know, goody two-shoe regular version of him. That's great for World Boss Legend. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know if they're going to do it, but if they are going to give him two uniforms, I would like to see them do what they did for Spider-Man, where he has two uniforms and they're good for two different things. Now, obviously, both versions of Spider-Man can be used for PvE content but they're better for different things the black version of spider-man is better than the red one for pve and then the red one is better for pvp than the black one and that's kind of what i'm hoping for for dr strange since this is his movie now if you don't already have dr strange at tier three am i going to tell you that you should get him to tier three i'm going to say wait but i am going to tell you at least finish his epic quest because that's going to take you a little while if you really, really like Doctor Strange, I would say you might want to consider getting him to tier three because collecting books take a long time if you're really, really unlucky. Like for me, getting enough speed books because there was a possibility of Green Goblin getting a tier three, it took me so long, like two whole weeks. So yeah, if you have 10 books right now that you're sitting on, 10 blast books that is, maybe if Doctor Strange is your favorite character, you should tier three him so you can start saving for maybe Scarlet Witch because she's also a part of this update, right? You are going to get a uniform for Scarlet Witch and she's also, even though she's universal, by the way, I should have said that at the top of the video, it would be nice to see Doctor Strange become a universal character in this Multiverse of Madness update. Again, comment down below and let me know what you guys think of that possibility. I think he should, if they can make Wanda a universal character when originally she's a Blast character, it would be nice to see Doctor Strange become, let me just go back to the, the base kit for uh, Wanda here. But um, yeah, it would be nice to see Doctor Strange become a universal character as well, especially if he's going to be a part of the PVP meta again. It would be really, really dope that he doesn't have any weaknesses. Now, when it comes to Scarlet Witch, I think all I want for Scarlet Witch and a new uniform is just her to be strong enough to compete with the likes of Makari in PVP content especially since she's a tier two native so that's kind of what i'm hoping for but for dr strange i'm hoping that they go all in for him and make him as good as spider-man in pvp obviously since he's a blast type now he's gonna be at a disadvantage against spider-man so that's kind of why i'm hoping that they change him to a universal type 
but even then he might still get clapped up by spider-man but if he's strong enough to hold his own against people like sentry adam warlock dr doom thanos etc emma frost even it would be cool that's my hopes for dr strange and i'm kind of expecting them to uh live up to that <laughs> anyways moving on Professor X is going to be a part of Multiverse of Madness, guys, so we should expect a uniform for him, especially considering how hard this character is to acquire, okay? I know this uniform for him is not very good, and some of you guys have been let down by Netmarble for purchasing it, and this is the classic version of him from back in the day, but I'm hoping that this time they get him right. I don't know how big of a role he's going to have in the movie. Obviously, the movie isn't out yet, but it would be nice to see Charles as a top tier DPS for stuff like World Boss Legend. I don't know how I would feel about him being in PvP, but I would like to see him as a part of the meta. Now, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but we already have three Blast characters, at least three characters that are initially Blast characters. Scarlet Witch is currently universal, but at the end of the day, if you don't have any of these guys at tier three yet, that's three blast characters that you're going to have to tier three if they become meta it's actually crazy to consider because in the last update we got back to back speed tier threes and now it looks like we might have to tier three three blast characters in a row but at least these ones are already in the game so you can kind of get a jump on it if you want to i'm not telling you to do so now looking at the lineup of characters that i have favorited here i'm thinking that they might give the tier three to either wong or baron mortal i think it's more in favor of baron mortal and if that is the case do keep in mind that mortal is a blast character so you're looking at 40 <laughs> 40 blast books if that actually happens boys i don't see them giving um kaecilius a tier three because he's not even listed as a part of the movie but the reason why i have these characters favorited is because they are tied to dr strange and the epic quest for him in some way shape or form and just like we saw them throw a curveball at us with sandman getting an awakening but no uniform mysterio getting an awakening with no uniform vulture getting an awakening with no uniform they could do something similar here where they could awaken a bunch of these characters just for the chance of giving wong or mortal an awakened skill i think ancient one might get something as well but if you look at that there's so many blast characters here this is going to be a very very blast heavy update if they actually give it to mordo ancient one or kaecilius maybe they go ahead and they throw the tier three to clear because that could make them some money because no one's really buying the bios for her people just farm her and get her to tier two that way because of the fact that she's not really needed once you get it to five star for dr strange you don't even need the tier two or anything so who knows maybe she finally becomes relevant but my money is on either baron mortal or wong getting the tier three but the thing is if wong gets it um, you're probably still down bad on speed books, especially if they give us Green Goblin tier three like we are hoping for, because I still haven't given up hope on that one. So it looks like no matter how you slice it, you're gonna be down bad on books. If they drop the Green Goblin tier three and then give Wong a tier three for the Multiverse of Madness update, then you're gonna be out of books. <laughs> but if you didn't already have Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange and Professor X at tier three, and you actually tier three one of them, and then they give Mordo a tier three, then you're down bad on Blast Book. It's actually crazy how this thing is gonna work out. America Chavez is also a part of the movie, but I don't know if they're gonna give her another uniform since they already gave her one last year. Granted, it didn't do enough for her. I still think she needs more. I think if they do give her a uniform, this time around, they definitely gotta give her damage accumulation and maybe a slightly better heal i think they could keep this uniform valuable by just making the next version of america chavez a pve character because this one actually has some pretty solid pvp utility right we got the ignore dodge we got dodge on the uh, leadership there and then i believe she actually um from her tier two passive yeah she actually has damage reduction at 60 percent physical which is really really useful for ac she also has super armor and then 50 percent extra defenses that's actually pretty solid and then from her uniform bonus if i remember correctly i believe it made it so that yeah she takes 50 percent less damage from reflect 
plus 15 percent more hp so they could keep this one exactly as is obviously they're not going to change at this point but they could keep the value of this uniform for stuff like alliance conquest by making the next version of america chavez that she gets for multiverse of madness more pve centric because this one seems more pvp focused granted she never really got her chance to shine in timeline battle because although these are really good buffs they're just not good enough Additionally, I think we will be seeing a new giant boss raid, or at least I am hoping to see a new giant boss raid because Shumagarath, aka Gargantos, is actually a part of Multiverse of Madness. Now, here's the thing people are kind of confused in regards to who this character really is, and I'll just break it down to you like this. So, Gargantos is essentially a Namor villain. But what they're doing with Multiverse of Madness is actually combining two characters that look very, very similar into one because of rights issues. So Gargantos is actually a different character from Shuma Garath, but because of the fact that they have some rights issues going on with the, uh, I believe it's the Jack Kirby estate, in order to not have to pay extra money and get caught up in the rights battle, Marvel is actually combining Shuma Garath and Gargantos into one, and I believe they're just gonna refer to it as Gargantos. That way they can just avoid the whole battle for rights to the character. And that is perfectly fine for me because both Shuma Garath and Gargantos look very very similar in regards to the fact that they both have one eye and they're like octopus looking creatures with a bunch of legs so it doesn't matter what name you want to call it by it's a giant creature that they're gonna have to take on in multiverse of madness so my money is on this character making it to the game in the form of a giant boss battle and we are well overdue for one we've been playing master mode and galactus now for multiple years and i think it's about time we get something more difficult that requires us to cooperate with other people and that's exactly what they're going to have to do to take down this creature in multiverse of madness and save the world so it would be very fitting for them to add this creature to the game and make it so that you fight it in a co-op game mode and it's more difficult than anything we've ever faced before because at this point i am not too sure what else they can add as a new giant boss raid you guys let me know we are well overdue for a giant boss battle so if they don't add gargantos or shuma Garath as a new giant boss raid i don't know what else they're going to be adding and when they're going to be adding it i think a giant boss raid being added to the game for the anniversary would definitely get players excited once again for marvel future fight because i remember when galactus made it to the game as a giant boss raid this was it was one of the best time to play marvel future fight so if they added gargantos or shumagarath as a new giant boss raid and made the rewards actually worth fighting for that would be absolutely amazing now i don't think we're gonna get much in the way of like uniforms for satana and um hellstorm but i think like i said before they could easily tie these characters together in awaken skills for other characters kind of like what they did for dr octopus where he got his awakened skill and it included multiple members of the sinister six who had absolutely nothing given to them and then later on they just copied that same awakened skill over to people like vultures sandman electro and mysterio so that's about what i expect to see from the anniversary update for multiverse of madness obviously there's going to be some quality of life changes maybe some cheaper uniforms uniforms being converted from crystals to gold because they're like seven years old at this point and some of them are still costing gold when they're realistically not that useful that would be pretty cool but besides that i think a new giant boss raid and multiple uniforms tier threes being given to members of the uh doctor strange family if you will is what we can expect so if you haven't finished doctor strange's epic quests i highly recommend that you at least get him to level 60 so you can start using him in world boss world boss legend world boss ultimate whatever to get his potential unlocked so you can start getting him to level 70 and tier 3 because chances are he might get the biggest upgrade out of all these characters if he doesn't get the biggest upgrade that would be a massive letdown since this is his update so just like spider-man got a massive glow up i'm expecting something similar for him I'll catch you guys in the next one. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to smash that like button. 